Zany it is, but also a memorial to an exceptionally gifted colleague, poet and male artist, M-A-I-L artist, Robin Crozier, who died in 2001. The amazing communication he and his wife Chris have with their green parrot Horace made a lasting impression on me when I stayed with them after my performance at Sunderland Polytechnic in 1983. Horace kept mimicking me and had me in parrotisms of laughter. Robin made a tape of their conversations with Horace for me as a joke. So now I've taken two excerpts and recorded a track as a tribute. It's called Green Parrot, Green Globe. Yes, to over 300 artists in over 50 countries. Here are the feathers he sent me that I photocopied for the cover of my poem 2 plus 6 equals when we did a joint project for Oxford Art Weeks in 1987. I've stored them in moth herbs and only four have been nibbled. Green Parrot Green Globe introduces everyone to the idea of the exploding green parrot whose feathers Robin sent all over the world in the 1980s. So I see this wise old bird as greening the globe. Dare I boast I'm the first person to release cactus music to the world. Our young son had a collection of cactuses and I suddenly realised their spines might make sounds as they're taut, like strings. I needed a mysterious sound to accompany a short piece from Phosphor, that's a large-scale work I created for the Houston Festival in 1986. It's a one-line poem, wrapped in our star blanket. So that's when you'll hear me play the cactus with a microphone very close. Oxpens Meadow is an extension of the famous nearby Christchurch Meadow that's never been ploughed for a thousand years. It's large enough to kick a ball about, fling a frisbee, fly kites, as well as picnic by the Isis, the poetic name of the Thames through Oxford. The meadow hosts wonderful wildlife right in the city centre. We've noted over 50 different kinds of birds, including herons and kingfishers. We believe kingfishers might fly along Castle Mill Stream, which bounds the east of the meadow, right through the heart of Oxford with its mesh of waterways linking Port Meadow. And there are around 70 kinds of wildflowers and grasses growing there. Our community believes that it must be protected from any further development. Our community has formed the Friends of Oxpens Meadow and applied for town green status. I've named the seven blue cedar trees by the ice rink the Seven Sisters, imagining them as part of myth, relating the number seven and the colour blue with seven blue birds, animals, fishes, butterflies and finally seven blue whales all serenading their seven sisters up above the Pleiades, the blue star cluster that in cultures worldwide expresses growth and renewal. I have to thank my colleague Philip Goss for simulating its wavelength call, then raising the audibility. These largest seafarers are connecting to each other all the time, across thousands of miles, with clues of sound transmitted through the oceans. 
Let's hope our developing wireless communication system, the World Wide Web, through which we can all connect, will give us the clue to living in harmony on our blue planet.